Good evening, gentles and lady men. This is Dark Paladin 111, bringing to you part four of the Walking Dead season two playthrough. Now, uh, I'm going to jump back in. We're actually going to kill the walker again that we killed at the end of the last part, simply because I lost my mouse, as in cursor, this little, this little guy, right at the end of the last one. So I couldn't click what I wanted to. Uh, in terms of response to them busted into the shed. So we're going to do that. So we're going to beat his ass again. That's what we're going to do. We're going to we're gonna forget once again that there's nothing there. And <laughs> Well, there is something there, but we're just going to go about this way. Kick. I'm going to guess. Yep. Get the rake. Push him against the anchor. Come on, Q Q Q Q Q, crying like a mother. E. Twix the anchor, you go. Right, fourth time will be the charm. He's gonna look hella surprised. One, two, bada 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 bada, three, bada 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 bada, and four. That's how baseball strike works, right? Four of them. Yeah. No. Maybe it's just me. Holy shit. What? Right. How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Still not bitten. Still not bitten. Bitches. I never was. Fear the wrath of Clementine. You me out here to die. Oh, oh emotional blackmail. Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? Yeah, I this stole from you. This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Boosh! Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn look is sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Of course I'm hungry. You don't mean a shed. Um, yes? Was... Nope. Um... No? I'm hungry. Give me the food. I, I don't even... I have no idea how we were supposed to respond to that situation. <laughs> I love there was the option to completely grass up the chick to help you. Like, I didn't do it alone. That would have been such a tape. She might hurt a little. Ow. How she left. Their suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Yay. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. Fabulous. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. Yes. Yes, so I did. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. What is that? Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. So she you... knew how bad the world is. Oh wow. Is really like her. So she's never seen a walker probably. She's to function. She's she's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay. That away. is some heavy shit to be laying on a nine-year-old. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Like... It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Yes. Suddenly stop being human. Make no more mistakes. Or else Carlos and Claire will come back and kill you. Jeez, man. Buy an update. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. This dude did, like, the most serious 180 I think I've ever seen. He's like, she's bitten. Better drop her on the floor. 
Hey, Clementine. Clementine, I missed you. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. So, I don't even know. It don't bother, it me. bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Nice. I'm a badass nine-year-old slash ten-year-old slash I can't remember how old old. I'm a baller. I'm eating gruel as well. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry. Well, you know, we're going to be nice to him because he is apologizing, which is pretty hard to do to a nine-year-old. That was definitely not. Like, you know, he is apologizing been known to, go to a nine-year-old. So, like, there's a lot of pride there. You definitely. I'm gonna let him off the hook. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just like you know. We had a bad experience once. He is trying to legitimately apologize, and what happened? I'm gonna just be nice to him. The gurgles. What? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control, it, but. We couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Uh, I do. I do. Yeah. Hmm. Back to the gruel. The unending slop. You're like, so, never, never learn. Since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Uh, I'm thinking about moving on. I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. That'd be a good plan. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. Quickly, eat the never ending so, rule. What happened to your parents? They did. Then the guy looking they after me. He did. They all did. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. Yeah. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Oh, Lee. Uh... My parents went on vacation and, and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. Hmm. Help and options. Okay, just pause it here for a minute. Handbrake is done. We're gonna get back to it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I have a reply. Uh, yep, stuff. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just double checking. Some of the other episode parts have been processed and are done. Back into it. We went to Savannah to find them. They were all I would like to know how her parents died. I mean, wow. you know, I'm sorry. They died and became zombies. But I mean. Then I met Lee. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. Oh, Lee. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. Lee was awesome. He taught me how to shoot a gun. You could play him nice. What? Angry. Or silent. Uh, I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I had to. Yeah. I hate to interrupt. But I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? I don't know. It depends what a brookie is. 
I mean, you know, given he said let's go fishing, I'm going to take a stab in it and say it's a fish. But I'll be damned if I know what it is. You know. Oh, you're still here. Oh my god, would you get off my dick, woman? Like, fuck off. What did you expect? Yep, get out in the middle of the I night. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Yeah, well, I wouldn't, you know, have a child if I were you. Whose baby is it? Whose baby is it? Ma. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm going to be a dick to you. If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? <laughs> you <laughs> shut your fucking mouth. Or what? Explain a dead child. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Or what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a you mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I ain't afraid of you. I'll take you down, fat bitch. Step off. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Nah. Why don't you step off and get eaten by walkers? I'm so going to leave you to get eaten. That will be amazing. Still going to punch you in the stomach, though. Oh, yeah, that'd be brilliant. We could just, like, jump up and down on her stomach. And then she would, like, pop. That'd be brilliant. Bitch. Oh, well. 99% of the house is alright. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. She can eat a dick. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night. That's for sure. That's a door. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? Yes. By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Yeah. Yep, that's the first time. About your age, first time I took him hunting, came across this beautiful thirteen-point buck. Just I also don't know what a thir I know what a buck is, but it's thirteen lead, point. Lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. Oh, this is too nice for a moment. He Shit's gonna to happen. He says, "I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it." Oh, that's sad. Hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal to you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. He's just trying to protect you. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. He's trying to explain why you're on edge. He's just not very good at expressing emotions, man. Leave the poor so old anyway, man alone. I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. See, told you. He doesn't hate. You should tell him that. You should tell him that. He's, oh god, one of them's gonna be so dead. In like 20 seconds. Dead, Nick. maimed, or zombied. One of them. I'm waiting for Krista to turn up again. What in the world? Ah, uh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. What's that? Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Wait a minute, was that? Carver, isn't that some four hundred days? Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. That guy, where's he? They look like Herschel. 
but it legitimately could be anything. You know. This one's shot too. Through the head. Carver. Was Carver that yeah. dude from the mo <gasps> Check the rest. He's one of the dudes from the Look motor, isn't he? We're running low. The one that was like the leader, totalitarian sort of style of dude. Dude, I don't even know. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. There's a body across like the what? way. Like what might tell us who did this. Like what who might tell us who did this. Okay. I think that's a good place to call it there for the night, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Dark Pilot in 111, bringing to you Walking Dead, Season 2, Part 4. Good night, and good luck. <laughs>